Your Holiness, we are curious to know how can we be focused, healthy, and happy each day? Gratitude helps us in many ways, like releasing a chemical in our brain called dopamine. It's a happy chemical. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely right. Absolutely right. At one point in the meetings between the Dalai Lama and scientists, he said, in my tradition, we have many methods that help people manage destructive emotions, bring them into the lab, test them as rigorously as you can, and if it looks like they're of benefit, then spread them widely. I think basically, uh, I'm short temper. You see, that something goes wrong. So the immediate reaction is to say, oh, shouting. Particularly, so those are my sort of staff member here. <laughs> what I hope for in our exhibit, after 80 years, are there certain things you see in all these photos that are characteristic? I would say this person's the real deal. This is a man who could be afraid of a lot of things he's not, and he's not afraid of death. He's not afraid of growing old. So I want to grow up and be like him. The idea was to convey a sense of how I felt about the individuals I painted. And I have got great affection for His Holiness. I was fascinated by his lips. And uh, in pursing his lips, he conveyed a sense of um, joy uh, and uh, inner, inner peace. That's what I tried to capture. I think the Chinese leadership is definitely waiting for His Holiness to pass away, and they think things will be different in their favor, but I don't think so. He may be the last one in his lineage that will come back as the Dalai Lama with a formal recognition of the continuation of the institution. <laughs> At the end, the, I think, last breathing, if my mind clear, and I'm quite sure, I will remember, while I'm dying, remember about altruism, entire sentient being. So that I'm quite sure I, I can practice the moment of my last breathing. If some accident happened, or aeroplane go down in the sea, then I don't know. <laughs>